Right, so one of the most complicated rope skills that we have that we work with is the high line reef. This one that we built here is a high line with an English reef as opposed to a Norwegian reef. The idea here is it's very precise and we'll be able to run a person out to a certain point laterally and then drop them to a certain point vertically. So there's three components to a system, which is the track line, which holds the weight of the system, the tag line, which pulls a person from side to side, and the reeve line, which pulls a person up and down. The English reeve get lets us go ahead and actually do all three of those separately. Uh, this. So what we're this is really useful in canyon and water moving water situations where we have a very precise target we're trying to hit and we're trying to move there. The high line keeps uh, the system from going very far down, uh, and we're able to move them laterally to the point where we're able to go ahead and drop them in place. And when we are working near ropes and water, we've actually we've worked through this whole process of saying that a rope hard tied into a rescuer is an entrapment hazard near moving water. That is still true here. So because of that, we've actually built on a quick release system onto our rescuer uh, and we're able to remove our redundancy. So when our rescuer gets near water, he'll remove his redundancy, then uh, they'll go ahead and remove the safety knot in a short piece of rope that has a quick release handle on it. So that only happens within six feet of the edge. So we lower down, or to the water. So we lower down, once we get within six feet of the water, we go ahead and remove the redundancy, take away the safety knot, and change from a, a one-to-one -one lower to a lower on a raise, which is where we still have mechanical advantage in place, lower down, and then move them up in case they get into an emergency situation. All right, so first thing, we have my redundancy. That's two ASAPs on either one side of the uh, reef here. That's gonna be, if this side breaks, this one catches, if this side breaks, this one catches. And then my main is uh, this blue rope. When I get near the water, that, um, go untie the stopper knot. And that way if you get stuck in like a deep V or anything, you can just rip this handle and fly down. All right. Um, I just have some crusted cord extended okay. from my chest harness with a descent ring, and that's where the two ASAPs connected to. So we're gonna go through a